so I wasn't going to record it, but if you don't want to watch it, switch off right now because before it's too late. Because I'm on day two of the liver flush, the forgive liver flush, and I've just I wasn't gonna do it. I was gonna flush all the stuff down the toilet, but then something called me to grab the this thing, whatever you call it, a sift, and then do a poo inside it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about what's come out. And I suddenly started feeling like really good. Before this today, I was actually feeling very, very lethargic and like demotivated, just heavy and like kind of sad, pitiful for myself. I came home, I watched Elvis, I did a, an enema with fulvic acid, and then I did a poo and I caught the stuff in here and have a look at this. So what you're looking at, you're gonna have a nice close look. Uh, gold stones, the round things are gold stones. And this is only after um, the second flush. I'm doing a third flush tonight, so get ready. Those are gold stones. And you see those little kind of like ribbon mm, confetti kind of like things that are like brown, but a bit like translucent and clear, clear looking. Those are liver flukes, um, parasites flatworms and those things like congest a lot of liver and probably the cause of my allergies you know because remember i said last time i did the little flush i went the next day and i could breathe no more problems no sinusitis nothing and so i'm hoping that's the same case today but we're still going and i just wanted to record this video just to document this is a pretty high vibe video and you're going to see how i'm going to change i wish i got it before but you're going to see how i'm going to change and evolve I'm probably even going to get muscles without even training and I might even grow taller, who knows? <laughs> so this is pretty much what's come out, only from this one, not as much stuff as usual. But see that big thing that I'm kind of looking at right now, I'm not sure what that is. And are those flat kind of looking things all flukes? Like those kind of, yeah, see-through flat things. Shit, I was not going to record this because it was just too much, but look at these massive stones and i did a coffee animal just then and it fucking was explosive you can see these green things already man the it overflowed the, the sift and it just took me by surprise but now we're going to get into this stuff oh this is from a liver flush bro the crazy oh my god i'm i don't even want to touch i've been touching it but i wash my hands but oh man you can just see like there's there's just so much so much cholesterol gallstones this is the most i've ever gotten out and a lot of um a lot of liver flukes all hidden there like those brown things it's just wow i can't even i can't even talk about how like crazy this is man this is like the most i've ever gotten i just had to break this one up but that is some the green stuff is bile and like these are like kind of form stones we didn't get them out so holy shit, man well, and this is a bunch of them all just came out here. Gonna have to bury this stuff, man. Measuring, burying the treasure. All right, fam. So it's a few days now after I finished the liver flush, and you would have seen those results. I kind of wondered if it reflect back on this experience. So this one, um, this is the most stuff I've ever gotten come out from a flush. Probably at least ten times, maybe even twenty times more than I usually get out. Uh, the only difference was. I did a, a three-part flush. So I did the usual kit, and then the next day at midday, I drank another push, olive oil and lemon juice. And then the, that night, I drank another one. And then the next day, I did a coffee enema. And that coffee enema, after that, it just exploded out of me. Too much to even catch, but I've, usually I would get little stones. But this time I got big green stones, um, much like Theon and Mark's. And you would have seen in that video, um, before the kind of brown flat almost looking like see-through confetti kind of things and those are liver flukes so you, you can look up the image of a liver fluke and liver flukes are flatworms and they cause a lot of congestion uh, I've been so the results uh, I've, I wanted to give it a few days before I commented on it uh, most of my allergies are gone I still have like a slight bit of sniffle sometimes in the rising, but that pretty much goes away within a couple of minutes after waking up. Um, maybe the liver takes a while to purify the blood. Last time from what I remember, it was instantaneous after. This time it seems like a bit more like a slow, gradual burn into it. Uh, but overall, I'm feeling really good. A lot of the dark circles and the eye bags have gone. I can feel my blood just being purer. I have noticed my digestion. I have, I've been, I've kind of launched straight back into food, which I shouldn't have. 
and I wasn't, I don't know, my stomach felt a bit heavy when I went back. So maybe my advice to you, my advice to myself next time would be after the liver flush, because you've just purged out so much stuff and like cleaned out your bowels, cleaned out your liver, maybe don't launch straight back into steaks and sausages and eggs and high fat things. So maybe kind of ease into it, but like I'm, I'm fine, I'm still, still standing. Um, a really good one was my resting heart rate at night time, which I track with this ring, has dropped down to around 41 to 44 beats per minute, which is like, that's really impressive, you know? Like elite athletes have kind of low 40s, high 30s. Before this, I was getting maybe around 48 to 50, sometimes above. So that's dropped down heat, which is really good. It's a good sign that I'm like just less stressed. And I have felt overall much more just like spacious and like just calm throughout the day. I've been able to fall asleep and um, sleep really, really good. However, during the liver flush on both nights, I woke up at 1 a.m. between like midnight to one, wide awake, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And like usually I would get up to some no good stuff. But this time I was like, well, I can't do that. So I'm just gonna lie in bed and kind of meditate and just feel into it. I looked into it and apparently the reason why I woke up around 1 a.m. is because that's actually liver time, according to TCM. And liver time, obviously because I was doing the flush and taking all those flush drinks, the liver was like working and like contracting and doing this stuff. So instead of sleeping through, I woke up and I was just, yeah, I just sent a love. Um, but after that has passed, pretty good. One more thing, HRV, heart rate variability, has increased a lot. I'll share something. There was a time um, probably two years ago where I was having chronically, I was probably in the best looking shape of my life, like big muscles and like really fit on the outside. But every night I would have chronically low HRV, sitting actually really low around between 20 to 30 um, minutes, something per second or whatever, which is really, really bad and actually was having a heart rate of like 55. This probably was accompanied by um, high stress mentally and body because I was training two or three hours every single day and just pushing myself nonstop. Um, I was eating very late at night and I, know, I, was, I think I was in quite a stressed state at times. So on the outside I looked healthy and big and strong but on the inside I was in just a stressed state. And now coming in a full circle, my HRV sits close to 100 now, and I think there's still a lot of room for improvement. Um, eventually, I hope to get it up like way above 100, maybe close to 200, and my heart rate getting down, slowly getting back into training. Um, I'm just paying attention to my how my body feels, and I wanna to listen to it more. What I have noticed um, mentally as well, is usually when I'm like, because I spend a lot of time alone, and usually when I'm alone, I spend a lot of time listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, reading books, and like learning, consuming, and putting things in. I haven't actually, like today, I actually haven't really felt cold to do that. I initially put on a podcast, and after a minute, I felt like, what the fuck am I doing? So I turned it off, and I've just been doing things in silence, or um, listening to very, very peaceful music with not too much lyrics and not too, too loud. I feel just drawn to being uh, more peaceful now and listening to my body. I haven't been eating late at night. Um, a lot of the cravings that I was doing late at night have started to, they're still kind of there because of the patterns. You don't just get rid of a pattern overnight, but I've been able to just say, no, I'm gonna stop eating at 6 p.m. I'm gonna stop eating at 7 p.m. And then um, I'm done, there's no, no more temptations. But yeah, just, just um, taking it easy for cruising for this week. And then I'm gonna start preparing for a full moon parasite cleanse, which I'll probably make some more videos on um, later on. And just, yeah, just, just taking a break for now from all the stuff. And then after this parasite cleanse, we'll reevaluate. But overall, I'm actually really, really happy with where my health is now, my physical health, um, mental health, just feeling a lot of space and clarity. And yeah, really, really, really grateful and feeling very grounded after this experience and just thankful for my liver, thank thankful for my body, thankful for Zen cleanse and the liver flushes and all the magic of the people um, researching this and putting it out there because this is like some great healing. Um, it's changed my life for sure. So I highly recommend this to anyone, but if you do want to do it and you're not, not really too sure, feel free to drop me a message, preferably on Instagram, because then I'll get back to you the, the fastest and I can um, 
help you out. But yeah, I just want to kind of spread this with people. And um, this is, liver flush is probably going to become like a regular thing in life because they say like, once you start getting the stones out, it's good to keep going all the way to get like, to reap the maximum effects. So it's just clearing the liver, um, getting rid of parasites, and then creating an environment inside your body where like good life flourishes and then parasites and bad things, I guess you want to call it, don't have like roots to kind of put down. So avoiding like those processed sugars, heavy metals, even consuming too much fear-based information. Like I was reading Medical Medium's book and I just shut that because I was like, man, this a lot of this is just didn't sit right. So anything that doesn't really sit right with your, my body or your body, probably a good sign that it's it's false and it's just spreading fear and putting fear into your cells. So yeah, but blessings to everyone. Thank you for watching and feel free to connect.